now we are going to see about Libre Translate and how you can integrate that with AI agents. Libre Chat is a tool which is free open source machine translation API. You can self host it, it's offline capable and easy to set up. You will have a user interface like this where you are able to enter a text and easily translate. And it supports multiple languages as you can see here. You can run this completely locally on your computer for free. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can set up Library Translate, how you can integrate that with Python application, how you can integrate that with AI agents, that is creating three different AI agents, one article writer agent and other translator agent. Also, I will provide all the code in the description below. Anyone will be able to easily run and integrate that in your own application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Libre Translate. It's an easy to use, free, local translation service and easily you are able to integrate this with your AI agents. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can use this tool and integrate that with AI agents. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure to click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So step number one, how to set up Libre Translate. So in your terminal, pip install Libre Translate and then click enter. Next, just type Libre Translate and then click enter. Now you can see it's automatically download the models. It found 88 models. So it's trying to download 88 models. So if you don't want to download all the models, you can even specifically choose what you want to download. Now, in case you get an error like this, NumPy is not available. You might need to upgrade to the latest version. So just type conda install force reinstall NumPy and this will automatically install the latest NumPy version. Or you can even type pip install hyphen u and NumPy to upgrade the version. After that, just type liberate translate and then click enter. So you can see now it's running in this URL. Now, if I open the URL, this is how it looks like. So I can add my own text here and it will translate it for me. So here I'm adding a French text and based on that, it's translating to English. Similarly, you've got multiple languages here and you can try all these languages. And the implementation, if you're using JavaScript is here. So you can just copy this and paste in your JavaScript application and it'll give you a response in JSON format as you can see here. You can also upload a file and then click translate. But in this case, you need to choose the language, French, upload the file and translate. And that will automatically download the translated content in a file format. So the key thing is API docs. So you got all the API integration. So we are going to use this in our Python application. So step number two, Python application integration. So it's very simple, same as JavaScript implementation. We are using this endpoint, sending the payload, passing the headers, and running this line, that's it. So even just with this lines of code, it should be able to translate the provided text, which is here. You can provide any content. The source can be automatically detection and the target is German. These are just for printing. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, pythonapp.py and then click enter. Now you got in German. I can change this to Ian and after that, just running the same code again and we got the translated content in English. Welcome to Mervin Prison YouTube channel. I can type target HI to get that translated in Hindi as well. Now step number three, how you can integrate that with AI agents. To do that, I'm going to install Prison AI. So this is used for creating AI agents. Next, export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. Now we need two files. One is agents.yaml file, next tools.py file. So here we'll be having three agents First agent is the article writer. Once that article is written, it's sent to the translator agent who is going to translate to French and then to translate to a German agent. If it's a manual process, you'll have individual person translating this, but this is an automated process. So when you start running this, automatically all steps are taken care of. So provide any topic to this article writer and this article writer is going to write the article based on that. So that is represented in agents.yaml file. So we got the article writer, French translator, and German translator. We're going to write an article about AI. You can modify this to any topic and it can write article based on that. Then for the French translator and German translator, we are providing a tool called translator tool. 
So we are going to define this translator tool in tools.py file. So if I open tools.py file, so here is how the translator tool looks like. So it's the same code as we saw before with the URL, payload, headers, and the post request. So just adding that in this translator tool clause. So that is the only difference. Apart from that, all the code remains the same. It's as easy to add any application as tool to AI agents. Now we are ready to run this code. In your terminal, type present AI and then click enter. Now you can see the article writer is writing the article in regards to artificial intelligence about the recent developments in AI, advancements, computer vision, AI in robotics. Then this data, that is English language, content is sent to the next agent. So that is a translator agent translating from English to French. So here you can see it's using the translator tool and the query is the content that is passed. And as a response, we got this French text. Then coming to the third agent, again, it's calling the translator tool, passing the query and the target language is German. So based on that, we got the same article in German language. And finally, here is the answer. In this way, you are able to integrate this tool with AI agents. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.